When purchasing products or services online, do you tend to take more action when you see a star rating? Now, be honest, I'm sure you do. Now, this is something that I've always wanted to do on my WordPress website. Now, I do a lot of reviews for affiliate products and so on, and I've tried to do this star system, star rating system manually in WordPress, and it took me a very long time, so I gave up. But quite recently, I came across a plugin that does the five-star rating system, and it is fantastic. Now, I wanna show you this in this video. Perhaps you could use this for your clients' websites or even on your own websites. So when you install it, you get this entry over here on the left, and this is a list of all your reviews. But before I do that, I'm gonna come over here to settings. All right, so over here on global settings. Now, have you noticed that sometimes when you search for a product, the results also show the star rating in the search results? Now, this is possible using Schema, and this plugin gives us the ability to show our results in Google with those star ratings in the results, which is fantastic. So here you can assign this, I mean, where you want to see this. Right now it's on post, which is okay. But if you want to add more, let's say you want to add it on products, you can just come over here and add it. So this is the most important part on this page. Now we also have the licensing here. So this is where you'd come in and add your license. And I've already gone ahead and added mine here. As you can see here, it's annual one site. Okay, so let's see how easy it is to add our first product review. So I'm gonna come over here and click on add review. So all I have to do here is to add my title. So I'm just gonna paste uh, some dummy text in here. Now here's something that I really like about this plugin. So over here we have different themes. So this is the first one here selected. Now we also have other options. Now you can see here it's changing on the bottom here. Now we also have that one. We have this one as well. I think I'll like this one here, but uh, let's just go through these and see what it looks like. So this one here is a dark mode. Now this one here has a slider, which is quite interesting. And then number eight is also pretty cool. And we also have number nine. But what I have my eye on is, let's go with, uh, yeah, let's go with this one here. All right, so we've selected number three. Now over here on the maximum width, we can also adjust this based on your content width on your blog post. So I'm gonna go with 1200 here. Next, I can now add my product title over here. So next, I'm gonna add my description. And then over here, I can add my product image. So I'm gonna get rid of this one here, click upload, and I can upload from my media library or I can actually upload one from my computer, which is exactly what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna double click on that. And let's go ahead and hit select. Now, so far, so good. So here is the last date updated, that's fine. But if I want to add a custom date, I can always go in here and add a custom date, which is also fantastic. All right, so moving on, here it says best for. You can add what this is best for. So I'm just gonna say travelers, since this is a bag. But if you want, you can add more information. Over here, author designation. Um, I'm gonna leave that as it is. But what I'm really interested in is this area here, which is the editorial rating system. So this is where you can start adding your categories. So let's say on this category here, I'm gonna paste the category and I'm gonna give it a rating. So let's go with eight, for example. And then we just need to fill in the um, second category and the third category. So now that I've added all my categories, if you want to add more, we also have a button here, which I can use to add another category, but we're gonna keep it very simple. We're just gonna leave our three categories here. Now we also have a progression bar. If you want to add it, you can add it, or you can just disable it by uh, toggling, toggling over here. Now we have another area as well, which I think is very important. This is where you can add your pros and cons. So here I'm gonna say pros, and then on the bottom here, I'm gonna say cons, and then all you have to do is to add your information. Okay, so over here on the disadvantages, I can also add another one if I need to, or I can just leave these two. So I'm gonna leave these two as they are. Now, the cool thing as well here is if you wanna drag, you can just drag and drop and just order them the way you want. All right, so the next part is the button. Now, I'd really like this because we can actually add our affiliate link on this button right here. So you've written your post and now it's time to add your affiliate link. This is exactly where it goes and you can open a new tab if you want this or turn the button into a link into a no follow. So I'm gonna say buy now and this is where 
In fact, I'll leave this for now, but this is where the affiliate button comes. Now here it says uh, product name linked. You can link this as well if you want to. So it looks like pretty much we have everything that we need here. So let's go ahead now and publish. And before, in fact, you know what, before we do that, let's head over here to category and we're going to say bags. All right. So now that I've added bags, it's automatically selected here and I'm going to go ahead now and publish. So now here's the thing. We also have options to go in and adjust the colors. Now, I was worried about this part because I was thinking, OK, if I have different um, colors on my website, how does this work together with uh, this product? And thankfully, I can come in here and change my colors. So here we have our background color. We also have our title background color and so on. Now, over here, we also have our typography, and this is pretty cool as well because I can go in and choose my font. Now, of course, I like using pop-ins, and here it is. I can just select it like that, and I can also choose this on the body font as well. So if you want to adjust the sizes, you can go in and adjust the sizes, and once you're done with that, you can click on update. Now, here's the thing, because when I was testing this, I was wondering how this product then comes on my actual blog post that I've written. And I found out that you have a short code over here. So all you have to do is to copy the short code. And then all you need to do now is to go to your blog post. So over here, we have our posts. I'm going to go to all posts. So I'm going to add this onto my existing blog post here. All right. So what we need to do now is to search for our short code block. So here it is. I'm going to select it. And then I'm going to paste my short code in here and click on save. Now at first you look at it, you don't get the preview, but where things get exciting now is when I click on view post. Okay. So here's my blog post. And when I scroll all the way down, you notice now that we have our review. And if someone comes here and clicks on buy now, they're going to be taken to your affiliate link and that's how you're going to be earning your commissions. But I'm sure you can agree with me that this is way more convincing than just writing a blog post and just adding your link in the description. Okay, so as you can see here, this is pretty cool. And over here, uh, people can come over here and say, thank you for taking part and also give you a, a review here. So they could give you four stars or five stars or whatever it is. And this will show every time someone comes to this area here. So I really like this. It's very, very clean. It's very elegant. And I like the fact that it blends in with the whole website. Now, I was thinking, OK, it's fine. We can do this for our blog posts. But what about WooCommerce? And guess what? They have this integrated into WooCommerce as well. Now, let's go ahead and let me show you how this works. So in WooCommerce, you want to come over here to your products. So I'm going to go to all products. Now, I've already created a product ahead of time. So now I can go in and say edit. Now, what I like about this is after you've entered all your information about your product, you scroll all the way down here to the bottom. Now, look at that. You can either show or hide it. So now if you hide it, pretty much nothing shows. But if you want to activate it, you can go in now and start adding all your information. So category name, I've just added that. And then we have got the rating. Now, over here, we also have the uh, progress bar. And then we can also have our pros and cons. So you can go in and add them over here. I've, I've already gone ahead and added my pros and cons. So once you're done with that, you want to take a look over here to the right. So you can activate the schema and then you can add your author name if you need to. So in this case, I would say Mac. And then now allow review in the user comments. If, so you can either have it disallowed or allowed. And pretty much that's all you need to do. Now, once I hit update, take a look and see what this looks like on the product page. So I'm going to say view product. And there we go. Look at that. It has a massive score here, 8.3. And it also has uh, all our information here. It has our pros and cons. And again, it just comes under this category where we have all the information about the product and this information here is definitely going to help any visitor to your WooCommerce website to purchase something. 
Now at any point, you can always go back to the plugin and make some updates. So let's say a few information has changed. Perhaps maybe the product was on version four. Now it's on version five. You can always come over here and make your adjustments. Or if you want to completely delete it, you can go ahead and delete it. Or maybe you've changed the design of your website. You've got a new branding. You can always come back over here to your colors and then you can go in and start changing all the colors around making sure that your website is going to be consistent always. Now, I really like this product and I guess you'll find use for it. Now, if you're a freelance designer, this is something that you can add to your clients' websites. And also, if you are someone that does reviews or you're an affiliate marketer, this also works really well. And also, if you're running a WooCommerce website, I mean, definitely, I'm sure you can agree with me that this looks really nice. Kind of like reminds me of Amazon where they have the five stars and this is what really gives you that extra push to purchase the product if you're trying to compare between quite a few. Anyway, let me know what you think. The link to um, editorial rating is in the comments box below. Go ahead and check it out. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.